Ever wondered how one piece of legislation could reshape the entire game? Today, we're diving deep into the Inflation Reduction Act. Spoiler alert, it's not just about curbing inflation. It's a powerhouse of clean energy, trade shifts and reshaping the economy. Buckle up, because this is not your average policy talk. It's the game changer we never saw coming. Picture this, $370 billion in tax credits, loans and grants raining down like on Betty, all to boost domestic manufacturing. It's not just about reducing inflation, it's like America's crafting a whole new economic era. The Biden squad is all about making things, green things to be precise. We're talking about a 50-year makeover for the economy, folks. Now let's talk real talk. John Podesta, the maestro behind the clean energy provisions of the IRA, is on a mission to tackle climate change like a superhero. Picture emissions are taking a 40% cut by 2032. Yes, you heard it right. It's like Mother Earth is finally getting the spa day she deserves. And it's not just talk, it's action-packed. The IRA is the largest clean energy investment in the history of the universe, making us the avengers of the climate crisis. But wait, there's more. Ever heard of the Chips and Science Act? It's like IRA's partner in crime, a tag team for reshoring supply chains and pumping $52 billion into semiconductor research and production. We're not just talking chips for snacking, we're talking about powering the future. It's a blockbuster duo that has already sparked $220 billion renaissance in manufacturing, clean tech and semiconductors, creating a hundred thousand jobs. Cue the applause. And guess what? America is not the sleepyhead anymore. Georgia's on a clean energy roller coaster, cashing in over $115 billion in clean manufacturing and $125 billion in renewable energy. The whole nation is catching on. Arizona, Midwest states, and even the once resistant ones are on the bandwagon. It's like a clean energy party and everyone's invited. Remember the $2.5 billion investment? Yeah, the one making the US solar industry history? Picture 4,000 people rocking jobs like it's a never-ending festival. Georgia is strutting its stuff, aiming to be the global leader in advanced energy innovation. It's not just solar panels, it's a revolution. We're talking about energy independence, environmental warriors, and making China look twice. Now, here, the magic isn't just in the solar panels, it's in transforming job markets, housing markets, and basically the whole vibe of Georgia. We've got a hero in the scene, a $2.5 to $3 billion Giga America project, making solar history and creating jobs like confetti. Now let's talk about Georgia's glow up. It wasn't always the poster child for advanced manufacturing, but guess what? It's stealing the spotlight with cheap labor, progressive subsidies, and developers flocking in like it's the hottest party in town. We're not just talking about any factory, we're talking about a $2.6 billion fryer factory in Georgia, throwing 700 jobs into the mix. It's like the IRA is turning the South into the the battery belt. It's like the IRA is turning the South into the battery belt, and we're all about it. And then there's the playing field, leveled by production tax credits in the IRA. Critics might call it protectionism, but we're calling it a game changer. It's not just about making stuff, it's about making America competitive. You've got GE, once the poster child for offshoring, now building the largest onshore wind and cell facility in the US. Say goodbye to offshoring and hello to bringing jobs back home. Schenectady, New York is like the comeback kid, with GE investing $50 million, adding 200 union jobs and becoming the go-to spot for onshore wind. It's not just about turbines, it's about bringing new blood into the game and sustaining a legacy. We're talking generations of GE employees, a family affair and the heart of Schenectady's story. 
Now the developers have got their ears perked and they're turning into the sweet symphony of change. All thanks to the melody of tax credits that are turning the US into their playground. It's not just about making a product, it's about making profits right here on American soil. The impact is echoing through global trade. And yeah, it might seem a bit protectionist to shift production gears from foreign spots to the heart of the USA. Now, hold on to your hats because we're talking about a plot twist in American economic policy. Remember John Podesta, the architect of globalization in the Clinton and Obama eras? Well, he's now steering the ship towards re-industrialization. Yeah, you heard it right. 30 years of economic policy making a U-turn. It's like America is saying out with the old and in with the new. We're redefining the game, even if it means saying farewell to those cheap supplies from elsewhere. But hey, it's not all isolation vibes. America is chatting it up with its buddies worldwide. We've got critical minerals agreement with Japan, free trade love with Canada, Mexico and Korea, and the conversation with Europe about a critical minerals agreement is in full swing. You see, the Inflation Reduction Act isn't just a local show, it's stealing the spotlight on the global stage. And in Europe, you're in for a treat. Picture this, Europe's businesses are eyeing the American dream, thanks to those enticing tax credits. The US is becoming the shining beacon of hope and opportunities. And guess what? European investments are already hopping across the pond, making America look not just attractive, but downright competitive. Now hold on to your lederhosen, because here comes the kicker. Europe's in a bit of a bind. The US, armed with the fiscal firepower of a unified federal government, is flexing its muscles, and Europe is struggling to keep up. With no federal fiscal power, the worry is that Europe might spark a subsidy war within its borders. We're talking about a green arms race, and nobody wants to be left in the dust. But hey, it's not all gloom and doom. The IRA is Europe's wake-up call to re-evaluate its industrialization policies. It's like the universe saying, time to step up your game, Europe. The question on everyone's mind is, where does Europe fit into this new era of competitiveness? Are we teaming up with the US or are we going solo? Trade tensions are rising and it's like navigating uncharted waters. The EU and the US are in a tug of war, trying to land a critical minerals agreement while dealing with the looming threat of trade tensions. Europe is feeling the push, and some are saying the US is pushing us and we need to get our act together. It's a call to arms for the rapid deployment of clean technologies in Europe's interest. But tensions are at the forefront, and they could get messier. Fasten your seatbelts, because this isn't just about the US and Europe. Europe, it's a global spectacle. The IRA is reshaping international relations and trade dynamics. We're talking about potential retaliation, counter-retaliation, and a dangerous downward spiral in trade. It's like a game of chess with high stakes, and the world is watching. But let's not forget the silver lining. The IRA is intended to ensure the US keeps its climate agreements and the global economy stands to benefit substantially. With investments driving down prices, economies worldwide can deploy clean technologies at scale. However, building these factories is no small feat and the construction sector needs to fill half a million new jobs in the next year alone. It's a challenge, but it's also an opportunity for growth. Now here's the million dollar question. Can the US prioritize cutting emissions without relying on cheap supplies from China? China, the behemoth of the manufacturing world, controls critical components in batteries and solar panels. Cutting ties with China completely seems impossible, and the Biden administration might need to strike a delicate balance between emissions and reindustrialization. The IRA has complex implications for the global south. Emerging markets rightfully argue that they shouldn't bear the brunt of the climate transition costs after the developed world enjoyed a century of pollution. Take Chile. Once set to lead in green hydrogen, the IRA's subsidies are beyond its reach, nullifying its renewable energy advantage. 
The IRA's potential game changer is in introducing a political element to climate action. It prompts developed nations to engage in a new trade paradigm, funding clean transitions in the global south in exchange for guarantees on critical minerals. The political twist is fascinating, with 80% of the investment going to Republican districts despite initial party skepticism. Looking forward, the uncertain political landscape raises questions about the IRA's 10-year embedded tax credits if a second Trump administration emerges in 2024. Chaos might ensue, but the IRA draws a line in the sand, signaling a shift towards post-neoliberal politics that recognize the government's role in climate change. The IRA isn't a cure-all for global net zero, but it sets the stage. Challenges like permitting, supply chains, and interest rates persist. Yet, the US is investing and reclaiming its role as a builder. Crucially, the US can't tackle the US can't tackle climate change alone. The IRA underscores the need for international collaboration in clean energy and semiconductors, challenging traditional Western norms on the global stage. In essence, the IRA's impact on the global south is in full is full of challenges, potential collaborations, and a changing world order. It goes beyond beyond economic policy, representing a redefinition of rules for a new era. What do you think? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and we'll meet in the next video. Until then.